Hello, this is Genshin Kuhn, and we are back with more Apex Legends. Today's uh, Apex video will be focusing yeah, on me seriously. playing Don't Mirage. Anywhere, really. I need to get out more. Actually, I think he's actually. Uh, <laughs> I think he's actually more fun to play as more than ever now. Compared to uh, his initial uh, kit release. Since they gave him, uh, since they totally reworked him. He's much more fun to play as now. Jumpmaster here. Good thing my buddies and I aren't afraid of heights. Get ready. I'm coming for you, friend. This might be a good place to land, but what do I know? The battle begins. Let's land here. May the gods bless you. Now this uh, commentary is post-commentary, so it's not during match, it's after the match, it's after the fight. Follow the leader. Um, and as I've said in other uh, previous Apex videos, uh, I'm trying to release videos just focusing on each individual Apex of me doing decent, or at least well. Uh, one thing I um, I try to do in most uh, Apex uh, rounds matches is I don't like going into hot zones. So like if I see a lot of teams going to one area, I will traditionally uh, avoid it. So I just don't see the point in otherwise raising just numbers on your stats um, in non-ranked, non-competitive matches uh, going just going. D Balls deep into uh, new kill too into uh, squad fights, into hot hot zone areas. Like I want to win the round, so I think one of the best it, things to do in like at least non-competitive, non-ranked matches is to just gear up, loot up, and uh, try to avoid uh, team fights in general. Marking our surroundings. In terms of fun factor, I think uh, Mirage is actually one of the more fun uh, legends to play as. Just because of it, what he can do with his kit. He has a lot to play with compared to other uh, legends who have like two, three gimmicks and that's it. He has quite a few things. I hope, uh, hopefully, eventually, not all, not everything needs a rework. But hopefully, um, at least I hope that older, uh, older legends will get uh, additional little things added to their kit that they can do themselves. Now, Bloodhound did the thing I just like um, people doing, which is like they went off and landed in their own thing, and he, this this particular. This particular bloodhound uh, just landed in uh, uh, in the hot zone area that I avoided. Now I did have my mic on during this round, so you hear me make comments every now and then. But yeah, I, I know that there are other people in this area because I and I just saw them land there. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Hence uh, why I landed in the area with Octane. Doing what I like to do most in these type of games, uh, sound, pouring, or just making sure I wear my freaking headphones. Yeah, they're still here. Now, I'm not paying attention to, um, I'm about to make a comment here. Helmet here. 
Level two. What? He DC'd? Why? Okay, so I wasn't paying I attention know. because I was looting. I was doing that thing that I just like other players doing. Um, I got into a team fight and immediately started looting instead of uh, rezzing or picking up the banner of the other player. Now, the other Bloodhound player uh, did not just flat out DC. Their timer ran out. I noticed this after watching the recording. And uh, I was I made a hasty judgment call. Uh, during when I was during the match, I thought he just DC rage quit because he was out and he saw us looting. But no, his uh, timer actually ran out. So they, I mean, they don't. I don't think you have to sit here if you're if you can't actually get revived. I'm mainly annoyed here because it's just like it's still pretty early off in the match and we're down a guy. And that is mainly my own fault. I'm not even going to blame the Octane. I was just not paying attention. Normally I'm much better at watching the uh, stats and timers of uh, my teammates. But I will say this, I there was a team fight, so I was trying to uh, pick up the banner while the opposing team was fighting another team, but that didn't happen. I'll say this though, I feel like Mirage's uh, ult may get nerfed, because it charges relatively quick, and it's actually pretty good. Compared to other ultimates of other uh, legends. Now, granted, his ult is mo mostly a defensive uh, ult, but can be used in a uh, in an offensive way. It doesn't do damage, but you can use it as a distraction to uh, flank somebody or ambush somebody. I use it mainly to uh, get away, though. Most of the time, or to uh, get to and to get to. Well, yeah, to get to run away, to get to another area away from uh, an opposing team. But yeah, I'm using probably one of my favorite guns in the game, which is the uh, Ava Eight, I believe. I, that's one of my favorite guns in the game. It just feels it feels good. I also like using the prowler, but like as of right now, I um, if I have a choice between a pro, uh, be, for me just for me in terms of preference and just how it feels um, between a prowler and a hemlock, I would pick a hemlock. That's just me, though. It's, that's a preference. I will give Apex. Uh, Wait, how do I know I'm not the decoy? I love, I love, I love the voice actor, and I love their their lines that he gave him. Um, as I was saying, uh, one thing I will give Apex is that when they do reworks, at least so far, they've all felt really solid compared to other games with the uh, similar mechanics, like in terms of like hero shooters, like Overwatch. It just it, it feels good. It feels right. It doesn't feel off. It doesn't feel overpowered or broken or weak. Like what they did with what with Mirage here, and then eventually Lifeline. They uh, gave these older uh, legends uh, significance again, where they're actually playable and not just like weak. Bam goes the boozle. 
But yeah, I, I think if I had to uh, compare uh, Mirage to the other legends, I feel like Mirage has more, he has more tools to play with compared to, uh, let's say, um, Octane here. Or uh, Gibraltar, or even Wraith. Well, maybe Wraith's not a good example, because Wraith has quite a few... Uh, gimmicks to her, like her ability uh, to uh, to uh, tell you or other possible teammates that they're being aimed at or focused on by another uh, enemy player. But if I have to choose between playing um, Wraith to Mirage, I would pick Mirage. Setting I would want a Mirage on my team over a Wraith. In progress. Just because, just We're the amount staggering. of uh, utility yeah. Mirage yeah. offers to to a team in general, compared to a Wraith. I mean, he goes freaking invisible now when he revives. You can still hear him, uh, but that's that's delivered. awesome. I bet that care package has some sweet gear for us. One sec, two and up. Uh, one of the criticisms for Apex that I hear a lot about is that you have moments like these where you're just not running into anything. There's like no, no action. But I actually um, think it's actually a bonus, at least for me, because it gives me time to think and if I want to engage I can just listen and uh, pinpoint where team fights are at and I can engage if I want to but the whole like downtime is pretty much true for almost every battle royale game almost And I feel like uh, one thing that Apex does right compared to other battle royales and other like hero shooters is that they give the players more stuff to do, like more areas to go to, more things to mess with. There's just more to do besides just playing the objective. And the alternative objectives um, coincide with the main objective. Which is surviving and becoming the champion. Like the uh, trials. That's really cool. I love that. Or the... Uh, or the flyers that you can shoot down that drop uh, dead boxes. Or a cargo bots that you can shoot down. Or the interactive train here. Or the uh, new uh, like bunker pipe things that you can go down to and uh, get loot. Or charge your ults at a ult charger battery point. There's just more to do, I feel like. More to, more stuff to interact with, which I love. Right there. So close. What do you think is over here? Sending out my decoy. Jump right out. I, I just like games that have, like have more stuff to do for the player which I wish um, certain other games like um, <clears throat> Dead by Daylight pick up and they're trying it's like I know you can tell that a lot of these other games are trying they're trying really 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 hard to have more things to do for the player and like the complaint of like not having anything to do or there's nothing, to, there's too much downtime is a common complaint amongst these kind of games. But anyway, I enjoy playing I Mirage. Right? He's as as the next guy, but we gotta go. Yo, we should def check out that camp. Enemy spotted. We got trouble. Firing. Heads up, got one here. Heads up, got one here. 
Kill Bazumba, Bamboo, Bam Bamboo, Fulla. Getting shot at. Bring on the kids. So clock. You got Bamboo. I will say this, game bamboozled is uh, it's fun to do it to other players, and but yeah, it's never fun getting bamboozled. Hey, come back if you're ever looking for a mirage etoile. That's where you fight three of me at once. Jump that out. Ah, getting shot at. I think this place needs a little more me. Yeah. I think one advantage of also playing Mirage is that other players will think that uh, you are a, uh, a copy, not the real uh, Mirage. That, that you, if you they shoot at you, you're just wasting bullets. You'll get bit boozled. There goes a boozle. Something like that. I'm surprised that Octane, yeah, the Octane wasn't put down here. Because we got sandwiched between two other teams, and they're out there still. But yeah, I just love the Mirage's kit. He just has so much to uh, play with. Check out over there. Hostel right here, right in front of me. Ten seconds. The ring's basically knocking on the door. Engaging. Two squads away from their win, amigos. Bam to the woozle. Send I'll be honest, I was not thinking we would get this far. Just with two guys. Wake up, ring's moving. That thing hurts. Escape. Yeah, this is the thing I just like what other players do is uh, they just don't pay attention. I see this happen quite often. They just do not pay attention to the uh, wall. Yeah, one last squad on my own. What could possibly be? Even my shields are recharging. So I'm by myself because there's no way I can pick them up. Hmm. Unfortunately, it's way too late in the game to actually attempt to go through there and pick him up. So here I here I am thinking like, oh great. Well, most likely the other team um, has a full party. Uh, I'm the last one there, so I might as well just at least try. Just a minute until ring close, and I'm talking to myself. Fantastic. See, yeah, that's a little detail I love. It's just, like, depending on the status of, like, your team or just, like, what you have or where you are, the, uh, character will, will... Uh, 45 seconds until the ring closes. Go bamboozle. The character will comment about that to that specific situation. I love it. And I can hear the, hear the other team. So I decided just to uh, relax, just let them come to me. I was waiting. See, I thought it was weird that the Bloodhound, this Bloodhound didn't use his scanner sooner rather than later. And this is where I use my ult offensively. So here I'm thinking, okay, so I got two of them down, where's the third guy? Because they're still crawling around, so I thought, oh, the third guy must be up. And then I hear him reviving himself. And game. 
So not only did I win, I was able to be ki uh, kill leader. And I did actually pretty good considering the you situation. The Apex champions. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, Till next time, this is Genshin Kun. Sayonara.